Toyota Motor Corporation's wholly owned subsidiary, Daihatsu, is in serious trouble after admitting to rigging cars to perform better in crash testing. The problem impacts four models, the Toyota Yaris Ativ, the Parodua Axia, the Toyota Agya, and an unannounced forthcoming vehicle. And in today's episode, let's find out exactly what happened and so stay tuned. Toyota, the world's largest car maker by volume, and its small car specialist Daihatsu were found falsifying side impact crash testing for four new models intended for sale in nations with already lax safety requirements. The incident not only discloses how the automobiles used in the crash tests were modified in a way that was not applied to vehicles sold to customers, but it also reveals the safety disparity between developing and industrialized countries. Depending on where they were marketed, four new vehicles branded as Toyota or Parodua, a Malaysian car company owned in part by Toyota City car branch Daihatsu, are involved in the crash test faking scandal. More than 88,000 units of two models, which are already on display in showrooms in Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and South America, have been sold there. The two other models have not yet entered production. According to statements made over the weekend by Toyota and Daihatsu, four new, developing market, vehicles scheduled for government side impact crash tests had their door panels modified to assist them pass the test and provide improved occupant safety. In order to, minimize the risk in testing that the door interior could break with a sharp edge and injure an occupant when the side airbag deployed in an accident, a notch was added to the inner door linings, according to the report. The Toyota Yaris Ativ sold in Asia, Mexico, and the Middle East, the Toyota Agya in Ecuador, the Parodua Axia in Malaysia, and an unnamed model in development were the four vehicles on which the alteration was ultimately left out of the production versions. Following the revelation that the crash tests had been rigged, Toyota declared that it would apply the crash test modification to yet-to-be-produced models. A total of 76,289 Toyota Yaris Ativs and 11,834 Parodua Axias with Malaysian decals delivered to customers are among the 88,000 vehicles that are impacted. Despite accepting responsibility for the embarrassing incident, Daihatsu, a division of Toyota that makes small cars, is said to have rigged the cars and carried out the tests. Until the affected vehicles are retested, in the presence of the Reviewing Organization and Certification Authority, Daihatsu said in a statement to the media that it has halted deliveries of the impacted vehicles. There is no need for customers using these models to take any action to continue using them, according to Daihatsu, despite the fact that the original door panels in cars that have already been sold to customers represent a danger of injury to occupants. Toyota reportedly stated that it has not received any report of an accident or injury related to the rigged side crash test. The major Japanese automaker claims that a worried whistleblower approached it in April 2023 and made it aware of the improper conduct during crash tests. This sparked an internal investigation, which supported the claims. Following Koji Sato's appointment as CEO last month, Toyota chairman Akio Toyoda issued an apology for the act that betrays the trust of customers in a statement to the media. The fraud committed by Daihatsu Motor Company, Limited, this time, according to Toyota San, is the most significant safety issue for cars. We believe that it is an act that betrays the trust of customers and should never be tolerated. We sincerely apologize to our customers around the world and all related parties for the inconvenience and concern we have caused. I am very sorry, this is a problem that occurred in a Toyota brand passenger car, so we believe that it is not just a problem for Daihatsu Motor, but also a problem that includes Toyota Motor Corporation. He also added, we are going to proceed with a detailed investigation, but I promise that we will thoroughly grasp the facts of what is happening at the site, investigate the root cause, and sincerely work to prevent recurrence and we would like to inform the public about the facts found in the investigation in a timely manner without hiding anything. I personally made a promise to customers around the world that Toyota would not run away, hide, or lie when the large-scale recall problem occurred in 2009, when close to 10 million cars were recalled because accelerator pedals could get jammed by the floor mats. The Toyota Group will work as one and do our best to regain the trust of our customers as soon as possible. Toyota stated that his business is currently working to look into the full scope of Daihatsu's wrongdoings as well as the underlying causes. He claimed that the company is making efforts to stop similar problems from happening again. As the top executive officer, President Koji Sato will take responsibility for improving the car manufacturing operations of Toyota and the group companies, while I, as the chairman of the board and with my recall issue experience, will lead initiatives for governance and compliance, Toyota stated. 
The Toyota Group as a whole will do its utmost to regain the trust of our customers as soon as possible. Koji Sato, who replaced Toyota as president of Toyota on April 1, is facing his first crisis following the disclosure of the falsified safety test. In order to address the root cause of the problem, Sato advised that they first identify the cause of the incident, including looking at the surrounding circumstances. Once this was established, they should next take the necessary steps. Toyota added that he wanted all Toyota employees and those at affiliates to understand that, making better cars, required a commitment to speak out about issues. Toyota served as Toyota president in 2010 when a series of recalls spurred US probes. Toyota is renowned in the business for carefully reviewing laws and regulations. The Toyota Land Cruiser 70 Series workhorse was recently reclassified in Australia as an illustration of this. Prior to Toyota resubmitting the necessary papers to recertify the vehicle from a light commercial vehicle to a medium commercial vehicle, a move that skirted new side impact safety standards, the heavy-duty four-wheel drive was scheduled to become extinct in Australia in November 2022. Small Toyota hatchbacks made for developing countries are at the center of the crash test cheating scandal, which broke almost a year after Hino Trucks, another Toyota subsidiary, acknowledged falsifying emissions data for approximately 860,000 trucks. The company claimed that it had changed the hardware and software of vehicles that were scheduled for emissions testing, measured values erroneously, altered the calibration of emissions testing equipment, or changed test results after they had been collected. The safest car in 2023 according to Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety has published its yearly list of the vehicles that received the highest ratings in crash testing and other safety assessments. The list is substantially less than in previous years, but there's a solid reason for that, the examinations are becoming harder. And as a result, the vehicles that qualify as top safety picks are safer than ever. For the 2023 model year, only 28 vehicles are eligible for the highest honor, a Top Safety Pick Plus award. Additionally, 20 vehicles are eligible for this year's Top Safety Pick award. There were 90 models in 2021 and 101 award-winning models overall last year. According to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, the main causes of the decline include the adoption of a more demanding side impact crash test, a thorough study of automated emergency braking, AEB, and new headlamp regulations. These modifications are intended to mimic the conditions that can result in crashes in the actual world. The insurance sector sponsors the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, which reports that Toyota and Lexus receive the highest accolades, followed by Honda and Acura and Mazda. Although all types of vehicles are represented on the list, small and mid-sized luxury SUVs win the most awards. Vehicles have to perform acceptably or good in a new side crash test that was created to simulate a higher speed collision with a larger vehicle, such as a contemporary SUV or pickup, in order to receive the top rating of Top Safety Pick Plus. Regardless of vehicle trim levels, the vehicles must also feature good performing headlights that illuminate the road ahead on curves and straightaways, as well as automatic emergency braking AEB, systems that could avert a collision with a pedestrian at night. Despite the fact that the majority of pedestrian crash fatalities occur at night, studies have shown that the majority of AEB systems perform less effectively there. The purpose of this criterion is to encourage advancements in order to meet the growing safety risk. The increased lighting requirement is a problem for many cars, according to Insurance Institute for Highway Safety spokesperson Joe Young, even though different vehicles missed out for various reasons. Many vehicles that were eligible for the award last year have dropped off the list this year, in part because they are still offered with poor or marginally rated headlights on base trims. As a result, both awards now require standard good or acceptable headlights. For instance, if not for a subpar headlamp found on various less priced models, the Ford Mustang Mach-E would otherwise be eligible for a 2023 Top Safety Pick Plus. The safety component of Consumer Reports' overall score, which also takes into account the performance in road tests, dependability, and owner satisfaction, includes Insurance Institute for Highway Safety Ratings. Having said that, what do you think of the current scandal Toyota is facing? Let us know in the comment box below. And if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.